What would I call this? I'd call this perfect. Hi guys, John the Firearms Instructor and welcome back to our channel. I'm glad you're here. My name is John Johnson. I'm the owner and operator of a firearm training facility in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We do a lot of neat stuff. We do gun reviews, which we're going to do one today. We do firearms training. We do tips and drills and everything else like that. And if you're one of our subscribers, thank you for being here. God bless you. You, you are supporting a small family-owned business, and we appreciate it. If we bring you any value today, I would like you to please hit the subscribe, like, and, and uh, bell icon. And every time we upload a video, you'll be the first to know. So today we're doing a unique review of one of Smith & Wesson's newest products. It's a Smith & Wesson FPC. This is a foldable carbine, which is pretty cool. They kind of took some of the kel uh, Caltex product and they kind of put their own little spin on it and I think it's kind of neat where the Caltex flips from up to down this flips right to left there's a little lever right here that you just flip forward and it folds completely it comes in a little bag which is pretty cool and we're going to go through we're going to shoot a few rounds out of this today and we're going to explain a little bit of what it is overall it's just over 30 inches it has your locking mechanism right here. It has your full charging handle back here. Uh, it comes with three magazines, which is kind of neat. It has one 17 rounder, and then it comes with a couple of 23 rounders. Two 23 rounders, which is pretty neat. Two 23 rounders and one 17 rounder pretty easy we put the red dot on there this is considered an optic ready product uh kind of feels good it doesn't not very heavy it's got your m-lock rails here that you could add a flashlight or a hand guard or anything else like that uh pretty neat little deal we're going to get some shots out of this today and see how it goes i'll take one of the 23 rounders and i'll put a few rounds through it now we put this red dot on here it does come optic ready, so you can put any kind of dot on there if you want. Kind of neat thing about it, there is a threaded barrel in this already. So if you have a can at home, you can always put a suppressor on this. This would make a great travel gun. This would make a great uh, bug out gun. There's a lot of neat stuff there. Overall, it folds in half. It's about 16 and 3 quarter inches, so it doesn't take up a lot of space in a backpack. It's pretty neat there. Let's uh, magazine your double stack. I'm just putting a few rounds in here. First trigger pull on this, it has a one of the unique triggers of it. It has a flat trigger front piece on there, so it has a trigger safety as well. And the trigger seems to be very crisp and clean. I haven't had a problem with it yet. Uh, we're going to put some rounds down range at our furthest target. I have a green red dot on here. I'm going to pull it up to our chest here, hold it here, really. And just give us a few shots. Very clean, very crisp. No real recoil management at all. It, it, it shoots really, really nice. Very comfortable, very easy on the cheek. These MSRP for about $649, $650, something like that. Most stores in town are selling them for a premium at this point in time due to the fact that they're a new product and it's very desirable so people want them so you could see right off the bat that this would make a great uh, part of your portfolio it does give you the ability to fold it this backpack itself doesn't have any logos on it which is smart from smith and wesson so it doesn't look very backpacky or it doesn't look very tactical you can put a sling on this Throw it in your backpack and you're just walking out of your house with something that maybe look like a, a business bag or something like that, or a suitcase of some kind. Smith is very smart for not putting their logo on the bag itself to make it more tactical. Gonna pull back the charging handle again, put a few more rounds down range. We'll try the top target here now. The other one on the other side. And there we go, that's a few more rounds. Now that's a 23 rounder. Uh, the magazines are a little stiff. 
I would tell you you're probably going to need a loader once you get past about 10 or 12 rounds. It comes with a flat mag, which is a 17 rounder. If you look here, when you put the, the 23 rounder, it kind of sticks out a little bit, which is expected. The 17 rounder will be a more of a flat, flat, flat mag. Gives you a little bit of finger groove on it. Shoots really, really nice. Uh, I think Smith's done a good job with this one. When I first shot it, I kind of thought, hmm. But the more you shoot it, the more you fall in love with it, guys. If you like to see it, touch it, or feel it, we have these in the store at this point in time. Still a little bit hard to get a hold of, but it does give you what you're looking for in a foldable 9mm carbine polymer framed. It's aluminum, aluminum casing, but polymer framed. Um, like I said, M lock rails you can put on there. It's got all the safety features of a standard pistol. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and probably hit that top again. Two over there, two over there, one in the middle. Runs like a champ, guys. Holds back on the last shot like all the other pistols do. Got your good mag drop here. Mag drop could be reversed if you were lefty. Works out pretty well. I'll show you the mechanism to take it down though. So here it is. You're going to push this forward and just fold it in and closes up. It does snap together so it makes it pretty easy. And like I said before, you could store your mags in this bad boy with these being full and you got the mag here. How quickly could you get, get this open? Throw it up and make a defensive gun pretty easy, pretty simple. What would I call this? I'd call this perfect. I think Smith's done a great job. Uh, it, it shoots really well. You like to come down. We have one on the wall. You can obviously give it a give it a whirl and see what you think about it. We're at 918 Southeast 14th Avenue in beautiful Cape Coral, Florida. We're off the Industrial Park off of Skya. Until next time, guys, God bless, be safe, and remember, you are your first line of defense. Don't forget to hit that bell icon, the subscribe button, and the like. Every time we upload one of these videos, you'll be the first to know. Smith & Wesson, FPC, get it.